Hello and welcome. This video is going to be a what's sold for me for the end of October. So that's October 22nd to October 31st. And we're going to start with Poshmark. Uh, I only had one sale on Poshmark, so I'm going to scoot it over here. And it is this McCoy bowl. Uh, I found this a very long time ago when I first started reselling consistently, so like three years ago. And it took a very long time to sell. So will I pick this up again? You know, actually, even if I, I, I only paid a dollar for this, so I probably would pick it up again just to save it from the trash since it is a piece of American pottery. It sold for $8 on Poshmark and you know, Poshmark takes $2.95. So I made like three or $4 from the sale and I saved a piece of American pottery. So for me personally, this was a win and I have the space, so I'm perfectly okay with storing it. Do I recommend you pick it up? Probably not, but I'll do it. <laughs> You can just leave it for me. I'll take care of it. I'm going to scoot over here now. And then we were going to go to eBay because that's my main bay. So if you did not know, Low Rise is coming back as is Flair and Wide Leg. So this is actually something that came to me in a thread up denim box. And I was disappointed when I got it. Well, actually I was happy when I got it because I hadn't really got very many page jeans before. And at the time page jeans were selling really well, but not this style. So... Uh, good thing is it took me a long time to list it and by the time I listed it, it's back in style again. So these actually sold for $17.87 and the buyer paid for shipping. And when I bought that thread up denim box, it was roughly around $4 cost per goods. So very happy. Sometimes, sometimes it pays to have a death pile. Sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> This time it did. So New York and Company is a mall brand. I typically do not pick up New York and Company unless it's new with tags. I did, however, pick this up because of the fact that it is a vintage piece. So mall brands actually do sell pretty well, especially if it's fitting the current aesthetic, which is 90s and Y2K, and that's when this is from. Plus, I actually paid less than a dollar for this. So it was cheap and it was on trend and somebody paid me $12 for it. So this was actually really, really nice. This next item is something that didn't sell until I, one, actually got around to listing it, and two, it was seasonal again. You know, if you have any sweaters or wool in your death pile, this might be the time to list it before it's too late. This is a beautiful fair aisle piece, and I think I picked this up for around $4, and it sold for $23.90 when I sent an offer off to Watchers. Another piece that I actually received an offer, and this is something that was completely free to me. This was a vintage flannel lined bomber jacket. It was suede. And this is something that was free to me because um, my aunt's father-in-law passed away. And, you know, my family knows that I resell and they basically gave me all of Biddy's clothes uh, to see if I wanted to resell any of it, which was very kind of them. He was very, very sweet man. And um, he is missed. So this was great. To, to be able to move on his clothes uh, to a new home and uh, yes a plus I, I you know helps pay for my bills which was also really nice so it sold for $38.40 and the buyer paid for shipping and um, yeah so some something of his uh, gets a second life uh, somewhere else uh, the last video I made was about reselling books and one of the things I talked about was selling cookbooks. I picked this up at the bins for 50 cents. I sold it for $4.87. That might not be something you're interested in doing, but again, media for me is super easy to list front, back, any damage, and the uh, edition page, good to go. So I will do that all day long. It's very fast and easy and I love selling books. If you have not watched that video, I will link it up above, plus it'll also be at the end card as well. This is something I picked up in California and actually something that was still up on the Athleta website, which was surprising when I was checking comps for this. It sold very quickly. Uh, it sold roughly within like a week of me listing it for $30 and the buyer paid $5 for shipping. Very cool. I like originally was like, oh, well, if it doesn't sell very quickly, I'll wear it. Nope, <laughs> nope, <laughs> it's gone. Uh, speaking of old stuff that I got in thread up boxes selling, this refractory British, this really nice green uh, sweater that had that, I don't know, like that sexy men's collar. I don't know what else, it's all, it's really normally only in menswear, but it's, it's like that sexy rolled professor collar. 
Ugh, I love it when men's sweaters wear like that. And this is green, so it's my favorite color. So that's why I went ahead and listed it. This is not really a brand that I would pick up, but because it came in a thread up box, I was just trying to get the maximum amount of value out of it. And it sold for $10. So the average cost of good for that box was again around $4. So happy I doubled my money and uh, somebody is gonna look really good this winter. This, I picked up this chaser. A long sleeve because of the fact that I just wanted to check off this brand from my list of brands that I've heard people talk about on YouTube that I've never found before. That is legitimately the only reason I picked this up. I paid like a little bit under five dollars for this and it sold for 11. So I doubled my money. I got that little check mark off of my mental checklist and uh, actually this moved much quicker than I thought it was going to. It took about a month to sell. Then we have this Stranger Things. This was the last Stranger Things hat that I picked up in California for 75 cents. Uh, again, they actually sent me a note saying, hey, could you ship this as soon as possible because I want it for Halloween. And I was like, uh, duh, I know that, but thanks, thanks for telling me. <laughs> kind of already figured that out. And they got it in time, so I hope they uh, enjoyed their Dustin cosplay or their Dustin costume. And uh, I sold all of those hats within like a week of me. Uh, coming back from California, so that was awesome. This is actually something that was free to me as well. Uh, Carolyn and Ernie donated a bunch of Carolyn's stuff when she went through her closet, so Carolyn, thank you. Um, very lovely of them. I have made so much money off of that giant windfall. And I sold this for $10, and the buyer paid padded flat rate for shipping. Again, this is not a brand I would necessarily pick up, but because it was free to me and because it was a green corduroy jacket, I'm gonna resell it because, you know, I feel like that deserves a second chance at somebody somebody finding it and loving it. This is a Colonial Williamsburg uh, ornament. Pretty much all of the cow ornaments have sold, but nobody wants the King's Arm Tavern ornaments. I have no idea why. It's almost like people like cows more than they like random buildings. Who knew? But I picked these up for a dollar uh, at uh, the ReStore in, in Williamsburg, which is next to Colonial Williamsburg. and. Uh, I basically donate all the profits I get from selling these to the Colonial Williamsburg Foundation because that's originally what this is for. It's a fundraiser piece and I guess they just donated their extra to the ReStore. And uh, while I didn't, I don't have to do that, I do do it because, you know, I really love Colonial Williamsburg. Um, I, I spend at least one day a month there and I really, really want it to con continue uh, doing its thing with education and keeping that information alive. Okay, so the next item is another thing that I was super excited to find because I this is the only time I've ever found this brand, and it's a brand that I've heard about both from Courtney at Comet Tags and also uh, Kay from Passports and Pizza Pies, and I finally found it. I actually found it in the men's section at uh, the CHK near my, near my house, and it is Frank and Eileen. This was the berry flannel and I was super excited to find it. I did not think I would ever find this brand unless like, I went to California or went up, up north somewhere in New England, but I did. And it sold for $35.90 and the buyer paid for shipping. So that was awesome and I will definitely continue to look for Frank and Eileen because uh, that was a nice sale. This is something I have to thank a viewer. So Glitzy Sparkles bought this for me. I sent out uh, either 15 or 20 percent off offers to watchers and they snapped this up. This has been sitting in my death pile in my kitchen for forever. I finally got around to listing it. I've been trying to do my clean out and they bought it for six dollars and thirty cents and then paid for shipping. So thank you very much and I hope you liked it and I hope it's holding all of your little trinkets. This next item is an Eileen Fisher item. This is something that I had hoped to wear myself, but it was very sheer and I did not like the way it draped on me, so I went ahead and sold it. Uh, someone bought it for $15 and the buyer paid for shipping. Uh, another older item from a thread out box, I got this from a men's thread out box, uh, so cost of goods was roughly about 3 to $4 for each of those pieces. So I didn't quite double my money on this, but this is not a brand that I would ever pick up, but again I was trying to maximize my profit on the box. So I did list it and it sold for an offer of $7 and the buyer paid $5 for shipping. The thing had been listed forever. I've had it for forever. It was like in one of the first thread up boxes I've got. So I was really happy when I saw that $7 offer. I was like, you know what? Yes, you can have that. Thank you. Corduroy is in. If you could not tell, there's like a couple of corduroy pieces in this what sold. Uh, corduroy is definitely very in. Ribbed 
pretty much anything is end. <laughs> Ribbing for your pleasure is really good right now. So uh, like knit tops, uh, cardigans, t-shirts, sleeveless, corduroy, anything ribbed is in. I got this pair of Adriana Goldschmied corduroys in this mustard color. I picked these up at the CHKD for $5 and they sold for $15 and the buyer paid padded flat rate for shipping. Another linen piece I had originally picked up for myself. This is a Tahari piece. I've actually done uh, quite well with Tahari, which I'm very surprised about, but I'm sticking with like linen pieces. So maybe that's why. I, I just love picking up linen pieces in general. And this also sold for $15. This is something I picked up in hopes I could wear it for myself, but it was too tight in the shoulders. This one draped well in the front, too tight in the shoulders. The other one fit well in the shoulders, but draped real, real weird on my body, so I struck out twice. But I love picking up 100% linen, even mall brands like this. I sell them pretty quickly, uh, as long as I price them reasonably. This is another piece I've had for actually quite a while. Um, this is a vintage trivet. It's just a little like tile, but it had the Walt Disney Castle on it. Um, this is from the 70s based on the logo. And uh, I picked it up for $2, it sold for 10, and I saved something from getting smashed and trashed and thrown in a landfill. That's all I really care about. Well, that's not true. Care about making a profit and also saving stuff from the landfill. If I can do both of those things, extremely excited. This is a hat from the Washington Football club. I think they're the Washington Commanders now. They've gone through three names in three years, which is impressive. Um, but so people will still buy this brand, uh, this logo, if they want to, and I'm going to sell it if I get it for real cheap. Uh, I paid less than a dollar for this. It was at the Air Force Tyree's house, so sold it for eight. Really happy just to have it out of my house again. That Air Force Tyree. <laughs> Uh, estate sale buy. Amazing. Uh, I think, to be honest, I probably picked up as many clothes from estate sales and sold those as I have from the thrift store at this point in my career, which is wild to me to think about. This Halloween shirt, I picked it up at the bins. Uh, I honestly picked it up for my mom and my mom was like, no, try to sell it first and if it doesn't sell by Halloween, then I'll take it and it's sold before Halloween. So mom, I'm sorry, this is not for you. <laughs> um, somebody bought it for $7.50. Again, I picked it up at the bin, so it costs less than a dollar. And yeah, really happy about that. Um, I don't worry, I gave my mom another fall oriented shirt and I've given her a couple of other shirts. So I also, mom's gotten stuff. I just, whenever I see anything Halloween, my mom's born on Halloween, I pick it up because of her or for her, I should say. Y'all know I love selling pearl snaps. I did not realize that Southern Classics was not necessarily a good brand to pick up in pearl snaps. I just saw pearl snaps and uh, really nice vibrant colors. One of those colors was green, so of course your girl snapped them up. Uh, I did double my money off of this purchase, so I'm fine with that. And I just know that Southern Classics, and unless it's like a vintage piece, maybe I should just not, not pick that up. Or unless I get it for like dirt cheap, then I'll pick it up. This is a cavi piece. Uh, I was actually able to find the exact jacket name and style, which is not something I'm really able to do a whole lot with cavi, but I did, and I do think that that helped. Um, this is a piece I picked up, another piece I picked up for myself um, to wear it until it sold, and it sold as soon as it started getting cold again. So I did not get a chance to wear this. Uh, but it sold for $30 and the buyer paid $10.60 uh, for shipping. I think it's the thumb holes that sold it. Whenever any any shirt or jacket has thumb holes, they're supposed to be there, I always put that on there because uh, that is definitely something that I enjoy, even though none of my stuff currently has it because it's just, it's, it was something that was really big and like, the mid 20 teens and then it seems to have just disappeared for some reason. Hello editing Bob here. I haven't seen y'all in a while, but I forgot this dead stock UV Saint Laurent monogram white cotton handkerchiefs that I found when I went to the bins with Brett in Richmond and they sold for my full asking price of $14.87 and the buyer paid for shipping. So 
give you back to other Bob now. These Frankenstein candles I found in California at a thrift store. I paid $4 for them. They sold within two weeks of me listing them uh, for $10.30. So I doubled my money and I was so excited that I got them back from California uh, without breaking. So, and they also made it to their new home without breaking. So I did good. <laughs> And I doubled my money here and that was really nice. This basically paid for a coffee while I was in California. <laughs> now this, this sale was amazing for a couple of reasons. So, you know, spooky season, of course people are gonna want to watch scary movies. This is something I picked up in an estate sale for a dollar. So that's one reason why the sale is awesome. It sold for $19.87. The buyer did not just pay $4 for shipping. The buyer paid $50, over $50 for this uh, DVD. It was new, sealed, and it went somewhere overseas. So somebody paid $50 for this one DVD. There is money in DVDs. Normally if it's media, I do only try to pick it up if it's, if it's still sealed and new. Um, but it's just rare that I find stuff like this and when I found this I was excited and then when I saw the sale I was even more excited so this was really cool and there are people out there for this kind of stuff but don't just sweep over the media just like look at it a little bit this next um, set of shoes I don't remember if I got these in a thread up box or if I got them at a thrift store the thing is is that if I got them in a thread out box or if I got them at the thrift store, it's gonna be roughly $6 either way. I really love these Oxford type of shoes. I actually own a couple of pairs myself, but they're American Duchess, so they're 100% leather and like very well made. Um, so whenever I see these type of Oxford shoes out and about, not, not American Duchess, I'd probably keep them all if I found more American Duchess shoes, but like any type of these Oxford shoes that I find, I generally tend to pick them up because I like the way they they look. They're just classic. Um, they're really good for history bounding. They're really good for costuming. So yeah, so I picked them up or I got them in a throw box for six bucks and they sold for 15. And, hopefully, and somebody obviously already really liked them because they left me a positive feedback. This next piece, it took me forever to get around to listing. And when I did, it was very well worth it. I actually paid less than a dollar for this as well at an estate sale in Smithfield. Uh, this is a large gentleman and I got a vintage Ralph Ralph Lauren uh, sport coat that was 100% camel hair in black. And I, I just had it in this death pile forever in this room. Um, I listed it finally, sold $40. So I turned a dollar into 40 and I wish I could do that all of the time. I probably could if I listed all of the clothes that are sitting behind this camera right now but you know there's only so much time in a day another vintage piece that I sold is this um, golf polo this is a master shirt a 70 like late 70s early 80s shirt I sold it for $19.87 I paid like four dollars shirt for this shirt so great sale there again another book sale like I referenced in my last video I if people will scan, Amazon FBA sellers will just take their little finger gun and scan the back of the barcodes on the books. It'll come up on Amazon as not worth it. However, certain editions and definitely first editions do actually sell well, um, but the little finger gun is not gonna tell you if it's first edition or not because first edition and the 25th edition are going to probably have the same barcode, so. I paid 50 cents for this at the bins and it sold for $14.87 and the buyer paid for shipping. So this was a great sale. And then the last sale I have to share with you is something I bought for myself. I paid, actually I think either somebody gave this to me. I think maybe somebody gave this to me for Christmas because I had it on my wish list, or I paid $5 for it. I don't remember. Uh, I normally put Twitch stuff on my Amazon wish list for Christmas um, and so sometimes my family buys it for me and sometimes I pick it up when I'm at TwitchCon so I don't remember which one it is so either this was free to me or I paid five dollars for it and I sold it for nine dollars and eighty seven cents because it was something I realized that I wasn't wearing and I have plenty of Twitch stuff still so really happy about that so my sales again doing pretty well you saw a couple of big ones there closed out October pretty well so I, I you know I turned my store back on and the sales just started coming because I was listing 
and that's definitely the best thing I can recommend if you're having a lull in your sales, either because of the fact that, uh, you know, you went on vacation and had to turn your stores down, or maybe you're just having slow sales in general, just keep listing. They'll pick back up. So thank you guys so much for watching. I will hopefully see you guys in a couple days for another video. Bye!